as we begin spending more time having fun in the sun, get ready to take aim at all those annoying little bugs that can ruin your outdoor experience. Accidental housewife Julie Edelman is here to help get rid of those unwanted summer pests. And we're not oh. talking about your family. Yeah, exactly. That's a separate segment. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, bed bugs first. Bed bugs are really the rage, yep. so to speak, right now. Yeah, they look like little ticks. They're only about a quarter of an inch big, mm -hmm. which you can see on the uh, up there. Mm -hmm. And they're they're ugly. But Ooh. the way to find out if you have them is they're hitchhikers, okay? So when mm -hmm. you go in some place, they come home with you. But if you see little red dots, like blood, on your bed, that's a good sign that you have bed bugs. Ooh. Also, so if you have those little bugs... Yeah. That's, that's true, too. Yeah. Also, if you have the little bites. Now, it's not hard to get rid of these things, okay? okay. One of the things is you want to use, you can steam them off, but you have to use a really good steamer like this one from Bissell, which I like because you have to get it to a minimum of 150 degrees, the steamer, mm -hmm. okay? And then you have to keep it on the mattress for 15 seconds to really kill them. That's going to take forever. forever. Well, you have a drink in your other hand. It's not so terrible, no, right? I mean, okay. if you leave one okay. bug, aren't they good or two? Yeah, but, yeah. but this is only for a single <laughs> location. If you have them all over, Call in the pros. Yeah, I'll you get in the, yes. right. Another way is since I don't use needles for sewing, you can actually take the needle uh -huh. and go along the seams and also the um, mattress piping because that's where they lay their eggs. And then you'll just catch them and vacuum them all up. Even better yet, get encasements for everything. Move. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, this get is out. only for single. Now, if you do find them, start to find them in your laundry everywhere else, that may, means you got a problem. Yeah. So do not use any of these methods. Call 911. Right. That's, <laughs> All right. That's what they hide. When you travel. Yeah, they when you travel. The, but the way to help yourself from the, having them hijacked. Don't put it on the floor. Put them on the metal rack or also in the bathtub. Should you want to put it in the bathtub? Yeah, because it's porcelain, so they they like hot, humid places. That's why they sleep oh, with us. Let's talk about Next. stink bugs. Well, why do you think they're called stink bugs? They because stink. They stink. The reason is it's sort of protected like a skunk, so you don't want to ever squish them. What you do is you take a baggie like this, what and do, you what adjust. What do stink bugs look like? I don't know they what actually. Have a picture of those? Yes, we have a picture. Sorry about that. Yeah. They look like a little shield. Okay, uh, they're shield-like looking, so they're pretty ugly. They're brown. Why do they stink so much? <laughs> it's a protection. That's okay. the way they protect. Protect oh, themselves. Okay. But the way to get rid of them is, first of all, use double stick tape and put it places you know that they can come in. Uh -huh. Because what they do is they lay their eggs outside, but they like to sleep inside. Isn't that okay. considered of them? Yeah. And <laughs> the cumin. They, 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 they love us. <laughs> and then, as another preventive method, yeah. use a bounce sheet okay. and just go over Wipe your screen. Sure. And, of course, a light trap is good. You can get something like that because they love light. That'll kill them. And you can get those at Lowe's. In reality, you will be pretty much spending your entire summer. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. Battling bugs. But yeah. I have soon a recipe you'll love, which won't okay. be so bad. Okay, mosquitoes. They oh, yeah. cannot fly in air that's moving, okay? So oh, keep fans crank up on the fans. outside. Right. Crank right. up the right. fans. Another great thing are marigolds. There is a certain scent in there that repels them, which oh. is terrific. So plant them around, put them on your patio table. And they're pretty. And, love and they're pretty. Of course, you can try the good old garlic, but then you'll stink all day. Yeah. Now, this one's a just for you, too. Okay. Oh, okay. You know how I like to use the yeah, essence. Yeah. Okay. You take basil, okay, which is great repellent for lots mm -hmm. of bugs. You put in four ounces of water. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, you let it steep so it really saturates. Pour out the water. And then, darlings, you add four ounces of vodka. And you put that in a spray bottle. Say, ah. Uh. No, no, it's not for that. It's not for that. You spray it all over, and that will actually repel the mosquitoes. Now, if that doesn't work, pour them over ice, and it'll take the sting out of any bites you got. You okay. Care. And then for um, ants, a great tip here. Let's go to the table because that's a good one. You put cups of water under the legs of your outdoor tables because as they're climbing up, they don't swim, oh. and they don't have little floaties. See, there's a little, little, oh, my God. So they'll fall right Whatever. in. And lastly, fruit flies. Don't Finally. bother me. Okay. okay. They are attracted to red wine, as are we. Thank they go you. in there. She and the best. Bye-bye.